Hello there, my name is Dan, and this is part 5 of my Resident Evil Zero Beginner Guide Walkthrough. In this video, I'll be covering the tail end of the laboratory, which we're about to conclude here in a matter of seconds, as well as the treatment plant. Once again, this is a guide slash series of videos meant to help those brand new to the franchise, brand new to this game, that are looking for some help to either get th help get through the game, just with some general tips, Everything like that helped get a lot of random trophies along the way as well. So let's get to it. And uh, you'll notice right away I equipped Rebecca with the grenade launcher for, with flame rounds. And you'll see why I did that here in a matter of moments. So climb down the ladder. And get yourself set to head on out before we trigger a scene here when we open the gate. You'll see an enforcer ape is... Scouting us out. Now, I want to note, you can run around this enemy. Oh, I'm surprised he went down in one shot. Um, but <laughs> on higher difficulties, when that enemy is a little bit more of a challenge, you can just run around him and climb up this ladder here and go and re turn the power back on. That is, is, as easily as that. Um, I only recommend doing that if you absolutely have to, though, because he can swipe you and you can take some damage um, from him. But with him dead, just come back up here. You'll notice some of his dumb leeches around here. They knocked the, one of the coils out, so you gotta pick that back up and play, replace it. Get the cable car powered up. We're ready to leave the, the laboratory. You'll get the laboratory complete trophy upon... Uh, when we hit the switch inside of there, so you have that to look forward to. We'll also have a new uh, weapon waiting for us, which is always a great thing. Check your inventory before heading out. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the healing items around here. I'm just going to take the first aid spray, just as a backup for things to come. You never know when you may need a certain thing. But climb back down the ladder and head for the power or the cable car. Okay, once you're inside the cable car, you'll see this glowing on the uh, dead soldier. Go ahead and pick up the Magnum, the signature weapon itself. It packs every bit of a wall you would hope it to. And it'll prove useful here in a few moments with Rebecca. Um, and start up the cable car. Now there is no way to switch the characters in this moment, I should add. You, like, for example, you have to have Rebecca here and Re Billy where he is. It cannot change. Um, there is no alternative to it. Like a lot of situations in this. But go ahead and hop off the cable car once you're here. And you can grab a green herb if you want it, or need it. Um, this door here, we cannot open now, but what happens eventually, we'll reach an elevator that allows us to traverse all kinds of different levels, and each one of those levels re leads back to the training facility, the train itself, where it was crashed and burned, and right here. So if you want to get back to any of the previous three areas, you're able to... And this is one of those doors for that. I'll show you the elevator when we get there as well. Just in case you missed anything, left anything behind that you wanted to get. If you missed a, you know, one of the random files you want to get. The only files you cannot get, or items you cannot pick up, are ones that you never touched on the actual train itself. So keep that in mind. Okay, once we're in here, um, pretty well equipped on items. I'm going to switch to my pistol. 
and run through this doorway here. All right, you'll notice yet another save room if you need to. Definitely do so. Um, plenty of ammo and health in here. We will need to come back a little bit later, but I wanted to come in and grab the map as well and show you that if you needed to save, do so, because we do have a boss fight coming up. Inside here is a little hidden uh, first aid spray if you need that. Um, we're pretty well equipped right now. I um, probably will have to drop something here in a moment anyway. I'll most likely drop the handgun ammo. Or perhaps the health item, it depends. But once you make your little quick stop there, head on back out. You do, Again, that's another one of the stops you don't have to make. You'll have to go in that room eventually anyway, though. But regardless of that, you head, head on down the little elevator there and across the walkway here through the door. Okay, this is an important room to be very careful with. This is where we're going to want to go ahead and equip our mag... Or no, well, not our magnum. We'll go ahead and equip the, uh, the flame rounds again. This is a bit of a waste in terms of flame rounds, but it's the best item for this situation, probably. Without having to use up your magnum. You look on the monitor there, you can see the big bad waiting for us. Um... So I'm going to leave my handgun ammo behind. I'll get plenty of it back. And because you need a spot, though, you have to take the key, obviously. The grenade launcher is not a bad item to consider leaving behind your sin. But this is why you have to be prepared, because when you come around this bin here, there's not one but two hunters waiting on you. So just sit here and wait. You can hear them walking. Wait for him. Wait until you have a clear shot on him, adjust, and fire. You adjust with L1, remember, to take those guys out. And that's why I kept the A spray with uh, Rebecca as well, because, you know, you just can't afford any risk. There's no reason to. There are trophies for getting through the thing. There's one for completing it without mixing any herbs. Again, that's stuff I recommend on a second or possibly even third playthrough. But, um, after you kill them, head back up the elevator and through the door again. And we're gonna use the key we just picked up on this little console over here. Triggering yet another cinematic. Okay, come on over here and use this turn the turntable. Resident Evil 2 fans will probably recognize this um, little area here. And once we take that down, you'll notice where we land is actually outside of the uh, labs for Resident Evil 2. And it's interesting, when you hit a door here, it just says, um, there's no need to search this place. <laughs> it's of all the places we searched and looked through and everything like that, that's what they put up there. It's just kind of, it's kind of funny, almost like it's like, eh, we searched it already, but we actually haven't because this is in the past to that game, but still, it's pretty cool, I think. Don't shoot! You're alive. Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? 
They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait, I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, I... All right, just be careful. I never saw him again. And that's a really weird line for this game as well. A bit of a premonition, which is kind of out of place, but I'm not going to complain too much about it. <laughs> it's not worth it. So, after we're finished with that, a little sequence, pick up the elevator key in the corner, and you'll just head back to the opposite end here, and you'll see this panel here with the going up and down lights. First off, equip your magnum. And then use the key on the panel. After doing so, this will, uh, this cutscene is what will trigger. Alright, this is the Proto Tyrant. If you want to save ammo against this guy, you can use the pistol if you know how to dodge him. It's very much an option. You just run to his weak side and get to his back. Don't get as close as I am right now, because he can do that. But just run to his weak side. Keep on that side. He can lunge and jump at you. But again, knife a lot of things, a lot of the bosses in this game. He's as hard as you make it. Just play smart. Don't run into his claw, obviously, and you won't get hit from it. But avoid his lunges and just hit him with that magnum. He'll go down quick with that. Again, if you want to save ammo, you can use the pistol. You can use the shotgun, whatever you have equipped with her. But beating him, you'll get the Proto Tyrant down trophy for fighting off the Proto Tyrant. And hop on the elevator. This is the elevator I was discussing before. With its various floors, you can return to earlier parts in the game. Um, floor 1 and 2 are for this purpose exactly, um, but then you can just hit level 4, which is where we need to go to progress the game. <laughs> Playtime is over. You and your friends no longer amuse me. Good riddance. Now nothing will stop me from getting my revenge. Okay, after the cutscene, head through the double doors here. I have to go and track down Billy. Some gasoline if you want it. Okay, there's a green, um, again, a green herb there if you want it. Some handgun ammo if you would need it, which I probably will pick up here in a moment. Um, before, do not save yet, and just um, come over to this panel first, and we'll go ahead and solve this puzzle. Prior to, so that way you don't have to do it again if you would happen to die. 
this is a very easy puzzle. Again, one that looks more intimidating than it does. All you have to do is hit a swip button and it'll light up all the various areas around it. Like for four point, like for two strands. Something like that. So you hit these two sides here. And then just go up here and hit this one. And you're done. Okay, and the power is restored. We can go down the elevator there. I am going to make a save here. I'm going to edit it out um, for your benefit more than anything. I highly recommend doing the same so you don't have to risk the proto-tyrant fight again, as well as some difficult potential quick death moments uh, afterward. So here, I'm going to save just now. Okay, after the, coming out of the save, drop your ink ribbon. Again, you don't have to save. You don't have to save at all. There is a trophy for beating this game without saving. So keep that in mind. But just know, if you die in this game, uh, you get back to when you last saved. And if you haven't saved at all, you're going all the way back to the beginning. So, for first run, <laughs> keep that. make sure you keep that in mind, please. Take out these zombies down there waiting for you. Once again, more herbs. And just keep continuing on into the treatment plant. And there's a Mimicry Marcus waiting for us. I don't know if he was going to be here now or later. Set him with your grenade launcher. Take him down. That'll save you some headache later on here. Let's continue around. That door on the left we passed is we cannot open as of now. We need to obtain an item to do so. Um, go ahead and switch back to your pistol after doing so. If you're dealing with a Marcus. Or you can just ignore the zombie just as well. He's one I kind of just killed just for the sake of doing so almost like his existence inconveniences me so i need to get rid of him but regardless of that uh crazy uh reasoning head on down the steps and we'll be by the um this forklift here again more herbs There's some shotgun shells here if you need them. Um, we don't have the shotgun with us right now. I'm not going to pick it up quite yet. Because we'll be coming back through here again when we re reunite with Billy. Spoiler, he's not dead. Um, so run across here to this uh, drab looking door here. Head on down the steps. And through the next door. Don't worry, those leeches may uh, give the impression a Mimicry Marcus might be near, but uh, there is not one, so don't worry. Rebecca, where am I? You're safe now. Are you okay? What could have done this? They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Billy? Alright, we're back with Billy. 
team can take a bit more shape. I'm going to give Rebecca these Magnum rounds. I'm going to keep Rebecca with the Magnum because, as you recall, I mentioned um, having her defeat all the bosses is a trophy. So we're going to keep that set up on her for now, and we're going to switch back to Billy, though, because he's our guy, go-to guy for everything else. Oh, be careful these frogs. They are major pains. Um, I'm, they spawn randomly by all water areas. I mean, you may never see one in your entire playthrough, or you could see three of them. But what can happen is they have a tongue attack where they shoot it out and can grab you, and if you do not get off of it, which sometimes you can do everything in your power and you still won't, they will eat you and insta-kill you. It is beyond frustrating, which is why I recommend doing a couple extra saves. That's why I did that save I did now. Um, the prototyrant is bad, but the real problem is having to deal with those things, potentially, because it is incredibly frustrating to have happen, on a, especially if they have a really good run going. So back to what we were doing, we're in this room now. Okay. Um, go ahead and split your party up, send Rebecca over to those controls there, and uh, with Billy, go ahead and hop down here. Alright, and we just have a little puzzle to solve here. Um, first go ahead and switch to, um, oh wait, not switch to Rebecca, I'm a bit ahead of myself. This puzzle can be solved in any number of ways, you can easily screw it up, but, um, you know, there are several methods you can do to finish it properly. Um, first move that, uh, what I like to do is move the uh, steel box over. What you have to do is, you can see the wood box there in the middle, you just have to make a row of the wood boxes while using this strange uh, gate here. And make sure you turn it the right way, I always seem to turn it the wrong way. I've done this probably eight, nine times, and I still hit it the wrong directions, I have no idea why. I'll probably do it wrong a couple more times in there, but the main thing is to get the pushing right, and I think I can handle that part. So that's where you rotated the first time. You had the path clear. Just go ahead and take this one I was standing on and push all the way down into the empty space next to the one that's already there. Okay. Now move this one over to where the one we just pushed was. And one final step before we move the gate again. Climb on top of this no oh, climb on top of the steel one. Don't push it like I almost did. If you screw up the puzzle, don't worry. You can just go uh, through a doorway and it'll reset it for you. So don't worry about that. Okay, now go ahead and push this box. Just push it all the, as far down as you can. Okay, just go ahead and hop on top of it. You, you can hop on top, you can go down on the side where I am now. Either way, switch back to Rebecca. And rotate the gate one more time. What do you know, I headed it the right direction this time. That's not common. Switch to Billy, and push it over all the way over. Go ahead and hop on top, just so you get out of the way. You have to be out of the way or else uh, Rebecca won't turn the gate. Okay. Uh, see, I hit it wrong, but it would have hurt me if I hit it wrong, so she stopped me from looking as bad as I probably should have. So regardless, um, go ahead and now push it back into line, and you have yourself a walkway. Okay, go ahead and climb out. Go ahead and run over here if you want. Switch to Rebecca and fill the use the fill water.
Then run across and we'll grab the valve handle. Which we will use to open that door we passed uh, earlier. Come on. Roger. Okay, come back out here and back up the steps. And through this door. Alright, once you use the valve handle on the door, just head on through. You can kill that zombie if you want. Probably should have, but eh, we're fine. Okay, once you get in here, you'll notice a lot of there. There will be a couple of zombies, uh, naked in nature. Let's make quick work of them with your shotgun. Go ahead and climb up this ladder. I'll check it out. Okay. All right, there is a trophy I forgot to mention earlier in the game that we can I can try and show you right here. I may miss it, but when you look at a zombie aim down and you'll blow his legs off, that is the um, misdirected hostility trophy. So go ahead and do that on at least one zombie with your shotgun. Um, here's where you can get the red chemical again as well. If you had not, you will want to get that. And as well, come over here to this uh, dead guy here and pick up the investigator report number two. Okay. This way. Okay. And head back down. Ooh, there are two hunters in this room. Be very careful. Oh, I got them with my shotgun before they could do any damage. Then on higher difficulties, that could be a much bigger problem. Uh, I thought that was the, through this door, to be honest with you, the next door. But I caught myself off guard a couple of times with this, but hopefully I'm not. you're not going in sync with me room to room. Uh, otherwise, that could have been a bit of a problem, but... Regardless, now we're into a save room. Um, the living quarters, whatever you want to call them. There's an ink ribbon there. If you want to save, go ahead. This is actually your, technically your last save point of the game. That is how far along we are. We still have a few things we have to do beforehand. It's kind of weird how they spaced out the save points. I think they want the ending to catch it by surprise. But make sure you come over on the bed and pick up the battery fluid document. And, um, grab any supplies you need. I'm going to grab a few things in here. I think, um, go ahead and grab these flame rounds here. I'm going to grab the handgun ammo as well. If for some reason you would need more ammo, you can come back to these places again. I've mentioned that a number of times, but I just want to make sure I get the point home, because 
I don't want people to like get feel like they're stuck if they're like let's say they get to the end and they don't have feel like they have enough supplies or something like that. That should not happen to you. I mean, on this run through, but you can come back to any of these places and get this stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and stock up, stock up on some health supplies because we do have a relatively difficult fight coming up. So get yourself situated there. I've got two full heal items, all my weapons. We're good to go. I'm gonna go and grab this aid spray until I need something else. And last but not least, I am going to go ahead and save yet again. Once again, this is just a precautionary thing. This is to make it easier on everyone, including you, just trying to get through this game. So, um, here's a save. Again, please do not let anyone make you feel bad. Like, if you watch other videos of people denouncing saving, and I totally agree with, you know, like, I understand that. I like to not save on my serious runs, but if you're just trying to get started and you're over worried about that type of stuff, it's going to make it hard and it's going to probably make it not very fun. You're going to be stressing yourself out way too much and everything like that. You need to take it slow and learn the basics first. And that's what I'm hoping I can do. Um, help you with in this video. So anyway, after heading out, head down the steps here, and we're going to go through another doorway. And this is another spot where that frog thing can come out and attack it right on cue. There he is, he just ran out and hit us, and hit Rebecca and ran. <sighs> Be very careful with that guy, though. When he comes out like that, he's not so much a problem. Can't get that zombie out of your way. Come over to the corner here, though. Pick up some shotgun shells. You'll notice Rebecca's in caution now from that frog. And make sure you pick up the treatment plant manager's diary. And um, that is actually the final file we will need to collect regarding um, trophy files. Um, like ones we actually have to go out of our way to get, I mean. So if you have that one, and everything up until now, you should be fine. Um, there's one final one, though, that we get at the very end of the game that the, that we get automatically. Um, so because of what we have coming up, it seems weird to use a full heal, but because of how weak Rebecca is, I'm going to play it safe and use a healing item there. And... Um, we're going to go with it. I'm going to run the shotgun against this boss. You can use any weapon. The magnum is an excellent option, of course. It is all preference. I like to use the magnum in the way the final fight is structured. So I'm going to pretty much stock up on it until then. But again, you can do that any way you want. Just head down the elevator here. Run around the corner here. And the cutscene is going to trigger for round two against the Proto Tyrant. He will be more difficult this time. Um, the big thing is just keep your people protected. The hardest part of this fight is actually the fact that you have such a small area of space to fight him in, which is why the Magnum may not be a bad idea, so you can kill him as quickly as possible. He's gonna be on you like the second this cutscene ends. Well, sometimes he is. Anyone who's facing the right way that time knows he was trying to jump there and I shot him. Oh, yeah. Okay, get Rebecca out of there, though. Use the right stick to move her. Um, she'll want to keep coming over. I'd highly recommend keeping her out of danger, as I'm taking massive damage here. Because I'm playing very poorly. Just hammer him. Um, I'm still fine, though, because Billy's a tank. 
And it's easy. That doesn't hurt either. Just keep hammering him. He'll go down quick. I mean, thank you, easy difficulty is what that really is there. On normal, if you play that swapping, you will probably get killed. Or, you know, you may not have gotten killed from the number of swipes I took, but you will get killed from the, uh, if you play with that approach. So, um, anyway, after that fight, run over, hit the switch, pull our ladder, go ahead and climb the ladder. But by defeating that guy, by the way, you should have gotten the Proto Tyrant down again trophy. Um, once you get up here, though, go ahead and pick up the motherboard to the uh, right from, uh, to Billy's right from when you get up here. Um, search around here, make sure there isn't anything else to grab, and just head back down. Alright, head back up the elevator here, and we're going to split our team up for one final time. Okay, go over to the panel here, and use the motherboard. And make sure you have your people pretty well equipped. Both sides are pretty set, so we're fine. Throw the mat motherboard in there and I'll move the gondola over here. Switch to Rebecca and go ahead and jump in. Alright, with Rebecca upon landing from the gondola, run over to the switch here. And flip it to drain the uh, dam to allow Billy across. Now you can do any of two things. This is again one of those situations where you could do one approach or another. It's all up to you. You can run over here and get some acid rounds if you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up for now, but odds are I'm going to probably drop them here in a few seconds anyway. In fact, um, yeah, I'm just going to do that now. But I just want to let you know they are there if you want to use them. Make sure you do have equipped them into your grenade launcher at least once, though. It's kind of a shame, though, because actually the... Um, equip your grenade launcher though before going out here. The uh, acid rounds are usually like one of the standard highlight weapons, but in this game they kind of get pushed to the side a little bit, even on higher difficulties. You come through here, you pick up the grenade launcher so you can kill this bug easy easier. Um, there's some more acid rounds if you want them, but you're going to come in here and there's going to be a blue chemical. Go ahead and put that into your mixing set, and you should have already had the green and red in there as well for the stripping agent. So add that to the blue to the stripping agent, and it'll make sulfuric acid. Again, that sounds a lot more complex than it actually is. But then come over and grab the industrial water. Take the sulfuric acid and industrial water, combine them together, and you'll have battery fluid. Again, um, so basically green, red, and blue make sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid plus industrial water make battery fluid. Again, all that's, it's pretty simple once you just know to do it. Um, but for now, just leave Rebecca here. Switch to Billy. This is arguably the most difficult run of the game with Billy, just because of the dumb frogs I mentioned before. And it is just a matter of, I don't want to say luck, but it's probably luck. 
If one of those frogs happens to hit you with its tongue, it can pull you in and kill you. I think you can mash the sticks and get out of its grasp. But the thing is, they'll pop up at the back end of the dam from where you're, like, well past them. And they can still get you. And it's very little you can actually do about it. Um, so hopefully it'll go well here. If it doesn't for some reason, um, you know, you'll know what to do. Just head back to where you were before. I'm going to go and pick up one of those green herbs because I have the inventory space for now. Um, just run across. Oh, he spawned in front of me, which is good luck for me. So I shot him. Sometimes, though, he'll come out here when you're about where I am right now and grab you with his tongue and pull you in, and you're, you're basically screwed if that happens. So that was good luck on my end. Sometimes he won't come at all. Sometimes he'll come like when you're here and try and hit you, but you'll be too far ahead. Anything like that can happen. Sometimes he'll just try and uh, grab you with his tongue and miss. All of those are possibilities. It's just, it's very random. So just, I hope for the best on your run with it. Okay, but um, anyway, once we're in here, take care of these zombies however you want. They both have, there's two boxes of shotgun shells here, which is amazing. Um, this is the final door we have to open, so if you have anything you want to kind of like drop for now, go ahead and do that. Like, I'm going to leave my, I'm going to leave these F8 sprays here, um, just in front of that door there, because that's where I'm eventually going to come through. So if you have anything like that in any ammo, just so you have some inventory space. You will unlock this door, head on through, and we're on the home stretch, folks. Okay, after coming through that door here, we're going to be down here. Let's head upstairs. This is, again, something I could, you could have had Rebecca meet you down here. If, but, again, it really doesn't matter. It's Let's a matter of seconds okay. if you're saving anything at all. So we're group with Rebecca, head down here. Now you need to make sure Rebecca has an infinite in, NT spot in her inventory, if I can speak. And um, you'll need to boost her up on your shoulders here. And she'll go ahead and grab the uh, empty battery. Which we've already made the fluid for, thankfully. But after that happens, those dumb cockroaches will jump out of their tanks. You have to kill them. Again, just have like your shotgun or your grenade launcher out and make quick work of them. Don't let them be any more of a problem than they deserve to be. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a fan of this enemy. I think they're just... I don't like the way they look. I don't like the way they move. I don't like the way they hit. Anything about them. So, with the empty battery, though, in hand... Go ahead and take that and combine it with the battery fluid, and you'll have the high power battery ready to go. Okay, go ahead and quick back that. Okay, and combine your shotgun shells with your lighter, that won't do much. But head back upstairs after doing that. And we're going to go through the one final door we haven't gone through up here. Hey, once again, be careful if a frog decides to jump out. I had a doubt he probably would by now. I've killed two of them. Head through the door here. And you'll be familiar with this area, but just have, keep heading back. Okay, and here this is where we need to use the forklift. I'll go alone. Okay. Go ahead and split, split your people up. Make sure Billy has an inventory slot or Rebecca, whichever one, because we need to grab that item up there. 
And since Rebecca has the battery, I'll go ahead and use her here. Just put the battery into the forklift, it'll automatically raise. And you'll grab the key. And that is the key to that final door that uh, I left those first aid sprays in front of. So like I said, this is pretty much it. Roger. Get Rebecca back over there if you want. Um, if you want to grab some supplies here, go for it. Um, I'm going to switch to Rebecca and mix, grab this mix herb combo. You can just hit use when you have a full inventory and have an herb you want to utilize. And just combine it. And all we're going to do is basically backtrack to where we were just before. Okay, come back through here, head down to where we fought those cockroaches. Now if you do, if you're concerned about, um, if you're nervous about the final fight, um, I would, for one, recommend watching me play it beforehand if you're going in sync with me, so maybe you can have an idea of what to expect. Um, but if you are nervous, go back to the lodgings and save. It'll take you a little bit. It's a heck of a walk back. It's a pretty lousy setup, to be honest with you, for the end of the game. I'm given how good they are for the most part, because this next fight is pretty tough. It's not prepared for. Um... So you may want to go ahead and head back and save if you're nervous. But like I said, you may want to watch me first. I think that's a good idea. Give yourself a fair idea of what to expect. But I'm going to go ahead and switch to my Magnum now. I'm going to pick up this first day's spray with Rebecca. So I have plenty of health items and plenty of ammunition. This fight shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, you want to have a similar setup. Um, just go ahead and have Rebecca come running the pistol. You really don't want her fighting here because she can get killed fairly easily, as I've mentioned numerous times before. But your Magnum and shotgun, you'll probably be able to kill this boss with just the Magnum supplies I have now, roughly. Um, but in worst case scenario, you, if you need to take the grenade launcher from Rebecca, you can do that as well. But uh, just run down this hallway here, and this is going to be the final. This is the final room, the final door, but here before they, uh, you know, before it all starts to wrap up. So there's some magnum ammo. Again, nice little treat there. We got 28 magnum rounds, more than enough shotgun rounds. So let's get to this guy. Welcome, young ones. So glad you have joined the party. You are the guests of honor. After all, it's your wake. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Dr. Marcus? No, you can't be. What's going on? <laughs> Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated. Oh, 
time to die, Doctor. I will take over your research. <laughs> Wesker, Birkin. However, something wondrous happened. It took the T-Virus inside of my queen years to procreate my new life. I live. Now I will have my revenge on Umbrella, and the world will burn in an inferno of hate! <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done! We'll see which one of us is gonna die! All right, this is the Marcus Leach. It just occurred to me we are actually go so I oh, I apologize to you viewers uh, going for a particular trophy. Um, you are that officer chambers to you. You need to defeat all the bosses with Rebecca. So I actually screwed that up for um, the proto tyrant fight, the second fight. But we'll go ahead and make sure I do it right here on this one. So real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this lineup of weaponry. And we're going to run this exactly the same way as we were going to, except it's Rebecca doing the shooting. So go ahead and switch to Rebecca. Um, uh, I apologize. For that. I'll make a disclaimer in this the description beforehand, so hopefully people catch it. Um, but for now, switch to Rebecca to use this. That's who we're going to run with this. Just run down here, though. The big thing with this guy is to like stick and move. I'll mode that Magnum on there. He'll he'll try and charge, hammering him. All right. When you hear that sound, that means he switched to his second form. So go ahead and reload, and he's already pretty well dead. But um, just run down this way. The camera will be will be a problem at times here. Just keep going. There's more Magnum ammo there in the corner. I just saw it. Um. And he's down. He goes down very quickly with the Magnum on easy. And that was with Rebecca though. And again, the second Proto Tyrant fight, I totally missed that one for you, but it's no problem really. Um, that was the only one we didn't do. But if you did the uh, all the bosses with Rebecca, you will have gotten the uh, that's Officer Chambers to you trophy just now. And you notice he kind of goes down like without a whimper. So there's gotta be more, right? It's Resident Evil. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch ourselves back to like kind of like the setup we had going into this. We're gonna load uh, Billy up with everything else we've got here. Um, a nice thing you can do with this coming fight, though, is. While Rebecca is busy doing something else, we'll see what that is here in a moment. Um, actually, I have too many items on me right now. But anyway, while Rebecca's doing something else, you can run over to her and switch equip equipment for a moment. So, just because she's holding something and isn't in use right now, you can switch over if you need to. So for now, I'm going to drop the aid spray so we can pick up these keys. Now after we pick up and use these two keys here, it'll give you the Apprentice of Unlocking a Trophy. Both characters have to have one, of course.
case you're wondering, it's uh, gold buff, silver, right? And like I said, that should give you the uh, Apprentice of Unlocking trophy. But head into the next room. This is like our final, final push room here. You can grab some handgun ammo if you want. I really actually didn't intend to pick that up. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, go ahead and just. I can't leave any more items. That's a pain. Alright, I'm gonna pick up the ink ribbon then. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a save here. Which I recommend you do the same. Alright, coming out of that save, I let you see the save window there. <laughs> But, um, there's more than enough stuff to take this guy on with. They overload you with supplies here. Even on, on um, the harder difficulties, there will be plenty of supplies waiting for you here. Um, we have more than enough to take him down. Probably Rebecca's arsenal alone could do it. But with the Magnum and Flame Rounds, we're going to crush him. Um, so grab what you need here. Um, I'm gonna go and grab the, uh, actually, I really don't need the, I'll take the shotgun ammo. Give that to Rebecca. And I'll grab one final first aid spray, just in case. Because the one thing with this fight is, it's, it's a very annoying and very frustrating fight, and you'll quickly realize why. It, um... You will take a lot of hits in this, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it that I figured out. If anybody does know how, I'd love to hear it in the comments section, because, like, you can pelt this guy, you can protect Rebecca, which is something we'll have to do, but I have no idea how to keep Billy from taking hits if this guy wants to hit you. What? It's the Queen! With Billy's extra toughness, though, you should be able to withstand the blows pretty well. Um to beat it like even on hard it is very possible it's just it feels like you shouldn't be you should be able to no damage it if you really want but i don't think you can Alright, and we're in here. This is the Leech Queen. Just unload on her with the Magnum. Just keep hammering her until you trigger this cinematic. And this is where things will get a little more interesting. Okay, that's the gate operation manual. You'll notice there's a big black blotch on the video. That's the Philo file trophy unlocking, which is the one I was actually needing still. Um, that should be your final file. So you should have that trophy unlocked. But now we need to protect Rebecca using Billy. So what you need to do is shoot the queen and piss her off until she turns around. Eh, sometimes she's a bitch. Rebecca's good though. She, she is awesome in this. Um, yeah, she goes exactly where she needs to. She does everything she can to get around the thing pretty well. And she, yeah, look at her. 
Oh, uh, she's held up there. That's a uh, good sign. But, um, that's probably my fault. I had the queen in a bad spot. But, um, she'll do her job as long as you do yours. Hold shit up in there like I did randomly. Okay, what the heck is Rebecca doing there? She's... I'm going to go and heal Rebecca real quick. There we go, though. That was a little bit... Sometimes that's just going to happen. Try and avoid the Leech Queen with Philly, the Tamar. Let that Magnum do work. The problem you'll run into is when those little cinematics trigger like that, when Rebecca's turning the valves, the Leech Queen can still move, which is insanely unfair, but for some reason they decided that was a good idea. They keep trying to stay out of her way, Rebecca, keep turning it. This can be pretty challenging because the Queen will be a lot more aggressive on uh, higher difficulties. She'll do this dash charge from hell thing at you. But after you open each valve, she's going to redirect her attention at Rebecca. So just keep the re you know, reacquiring her attention with your high power weaponry. Yeah, see that move, I don't know how to avoid that move. She intends to do it directly in front of you. But Billy, he's a tank. He's still fine. He can withstand a lot of damage from her, even on hard. Watch out, she's gonna probably try and pounce. I'm gonna try and get away, but... But see, I, I just, I don't know. I, because it doesn't telegraph well either. Again, please, anybody in the comments knows a good method, let me know. I'm just curious. It doesn't really matter to me now. I'm, I've played through and on all the difficulties and everything now, and... But regardless, people and people otherwise may be curious as well. Um, don't stand in front of her like I am, but there's Rebecca, she's turning the fourth one. The queen might be actually realizing what's going on here. So we're gonna pelt her with a grenade launcher to piss her off. Keep hammering her, keep hammering her. And Rebecca's gonna open that up and we're gonna wrap this baby up. Hey, that must be the old mansion that Enrico was talking about. Hmm? I guess it's time to say goodbye. Officially. Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now.
Thank you, Rebecca. Alright, and with that, that's going to bring up the end of the guide. Um, I really hope it helps people that actually need it. Um, I hope the right people find it and can take advantage of it. Um, I hope my commentary and everything was clear and helpful. Um, as far as the channel goes, I'm going to keep trying to work on more stuff, put out more content, and hopefully get some people watching it and enjoying it. Um, Resident Evil is one of my favorite franchises, so expect a lot more from it. Um, for now, though, that's going to end it. Um, I hope you enjoy, and we'll see you next time.